And I'm Jay Cashman. Thanks so much for joining us this evening. We top our newscast with this story. Questions surround the car crash that killed a 23-year-old Wellington man Friday and sent shockwaves through the Polo community. Investigators suspect John B. Goodman was drinking when he ran a stop sign and plowed into Scott Wilson's car. Additional files, Kristen Cadell is live at the scene of the accident with the latest details. Kristen? Jay, here at the scene of the accident, Scott Wilson's friends have created this memorial right here in his honor. Meanwhile, tonight, many are asking why. Why the suspected drunk driver, John V. Goodman, founder of the International Polo Club Palm Beach, hasn't been charged with anything at this point. WPTV.com has been flooded with comments. One reads, no charges. At the very least, he ran a stop sign and left the scene. Witnesses say he was drinking before the accident. This needs to be investigated at a higher level. It's not unusual for someone to not be arrested immediately when they're under suspicion for DUI manslaughter or driving under the influence causing serious injury or death. News Channel 5 legal analyst Michelle Suskauer says this investigation will take some time. Because there are toxicology results that the state is waiting on. Uh, blood was drawn at the time uh, of the accident and so there needs to be a screen done to find out if he was in fact under the influence and if he was what was he under the influence when I see this it's, it's, it hurts the victim's parents Lily and William Wilson say they too have a lot of questions he definitely ran a stop sign and, and hit our son normally you would be ticketed and go be processed of some sort of a thing I would like to know if there was any possibility that he could have jumped in after he hit the car and say, got him out. That's what I'm questioning in my heart. Um, I'm questioning whether there could have been anything that could have been done after the accident that would have brought 911 faster. Their son Scott had just graduated from the University of Central Florida and he was on his way to enter the professional world as a mechanical engineer. His parents say now they are holding on tight to the memories of their son like never before. He's the most amazing person you could ever meet. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office says their investigation is still ongoing and they have not handed the case over to the state attorney's office, noting that fatality investigations take time. Once the state attorney's office gets the case, they will have at least 21 days to review it and determine if charges will be filed. We're live in Wellington. Kristen Cadell, WPTV, News Channel 5.